We've identified the perfect place over at South Glen and we're moving across the street and we're excited about it. We really want to be in this part of town. Streets of South Glen is vibrant, it's exciting, it's a massively interesting development with great restaurants and retail, new businesses moving in, and what it does is it adds a lot of amenities um, that is really to be envied. Um, there's the movie theater and the access to those theaters during non-movie hours. We're going to have a major conference facility and there'll be more meeting room facilities and greater accessibility of conference facilities because really the chamber isn't about the staff at the chamber. The chamber is about business people getting together and working on common areas of mutual gain. Uh, it's, it's something pretty special over there. It's a, it's a significant accomplishment. We believe we're betting our money on the future of South Metro Denver in places just like the streets of South Glen. This flagpole um, in the 1970s was dedicated to a uh, Arapahoe County Sheriff Roy Vogt. And after the county facility in Littleton uh, became unoccupied, um, the current Arapahoe County Sheriff Grayson Robinson saved this flagpole to dedicate to the Vote family. Uh, Dorothy Vote was the Arapahoe County Treasurer, Roy Vote was the Sheriff, uh, they're both deceased now, but their son was the past president of the South Metro Chamber for 14 years, and this flagpole is going with us. Anytime you have a major institution decide to move up, move roots, even if it's just across the street, uh, it takes a really strong, dedicated group. It has been led by our chair of our board, and our, one of our clients is an architect, Longstrock Architects. Kevin Sullivan's done a great job. But the keystone that has pulled all of this together is Mark Grillo of Gr Grillo Commercial Real Estate. He found a great find, and we owe a lot of loyalty to Mark. The chamber has been in their current location for over 10 years. Um, and, you know, to make another 10-year commitment somewhere else, um, you have to make sure that the new space is going to meet all of their objectives. We had to not just look at what, what they were today, but also what they would be in the future. Typically 12 to 18 months out is when any tenant wants to really look at their lease um, and understand where they are today and where they want to be. But with a, a, a group like the Chamber, with very specific um, and all different types of moving parts that go, it's not traditional office space, it's not traditional retail space, it's something very unique, um, and it also has to be able to adapt. Um, you want to be looking 18 months out. We started with, with 50 different options. I think the, the biggest differentiator with uh, my company, um, as opposed to other people that the, the chamber could have used or, or any other tenant can use is that uh, we only represent tenants. We don't represent landlords. But I have no vested financial interest in any particular building or land or whatever aside from what's in the tenant's best interest.